The Royal Papua Yacht Club commemorated Australian and New Zealand corps with the Fuzzy Wazi Angels in a symbolic way. Anzac Day in Papua New Guinea has massive significance for Australia. It was as close as any country's ever got to invading Australia, and Australia could only have managed to stop the Japanese with the help of the Papuans and the people from Papua New Guinea. So it's a sense of shared struggle. A short service was held in front of the McDewey Mast to remember the scuttled HMAS McDewey that was sunken in Fairfax Harbour in 1942 World War II. A display of World War II relics and brief history of the fallen members of the Australian and New Zealand Corp reminded of service of the World War II events. The Correctional Service Band provided the last post, a military tradition that signifies the end of day's activities. It also sounded at the military funerals to indicate that the soldier has gone to his final rest and commemorative services like ANZAC. The day was witnessed briefly by Australia's opposition leader Bill Shorten. Australia should remember that 75 years ago uh, we received uh, a great deal of help from people from Papua New Guinea. We owe a debt of gratitude. 75 years on, it's good to be reminded of what we can do when Australians of Papua New Guineans stand shoulder to shoulder. An important day and in many ways it helped uh, introduce many Australians to Papua New Guinea when so many people from Papua New Guinea, stretcher bearers and medical assistants, helped save so many Australian lives. Among the guests was Dara Kisu, one of the surviving members of the Fazi Wazi Angels. Become uh, stretcher bearers when we are Fazi Wazi Angels. Any injured Australian in New Zealand, we rush them to nearest uh, health centres, where there's a thorn bushes and rugged mountains and steep mountains, so we rust. The day's activities will end later tonight with a barbecue to see off the day. But more importantly, today's event reminds us of an important piece of history. Lest we forget those who have dedicated their lives to the cause of justice, freedom and peace. Shane Saroya, National MTV News.